Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm excited to have you guys back here. We are back with another Juna react. This is Painkiller. I haven't heard this for Judas Free song in quite a while. I'm not going to talk for very long, so if you haven't yet, please hit that subscriber button. Only about 10% of our current viewer base is subscribed, and it would go a long way in help promoting this channel. You guys are awesome. Let's get into it. Here we go. Yeah. Tell me what you got. Man, I've heard that role probably 500 times, but it never ceases to amaze me how good it is. We're going to listen to it one more time. Oh my god. Okay, so now that I've had a chance to listen to it, let's analyze that a little bit. So I, I actually want to break down this role, and then we'll get into the song. So it sounds like she's doing bop, and then a sixlet on the bass drum. That's actually so common in metal. It makes sense it's in a Judas Priest song. This opening here. Those are so hard to do, those sixlets, man, because they're on a upbeat, but you're doing a downward stroke. Oh, man, and then the fours, da, 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 da. Then you're doing the roll, which is two snare to the tom. That is so hard to do to, because you are hitting and then in the recoil of the hit going to the other drum. And then those uh, sixlets at the very end there, setting up for the tempo change. It's so good. It's so good. It's so good. Oh, wow. She's got such a fat snare tone. Oh, I love those cymbal accents that she, that she does there. So her, so her subdivision is bar none. One of the best and cleanest I have ever heard from any drummer, female or male, period. Like, I'd put her up against a bunch of my friends that I know that can play this kind of stuff. those 30 second notes on the bass drum that is so hard to do because you got the snare on the back end and then you got the other part of that riff That swing beat, oh my god. Like I said, I've heard this song a thousand times, 500 times, but it never ceases to amaze me just how technical Judas Priest can actually be. And another two songs that are really fun to play, and I wonder if June is ever going to do covers of them, and I hope she does. Judas is Rising and Hellraiser, or Hellrider, or whatever it is. Those are all another two uh, songs by Judas Priest that a lot of people don't actually hear. They were never played on the radio because they have double bass, and... They don't want to hear that on the radio, which I find stupid. Of course we want to hear this on the radio. This is impressive. Those drums are accenting what the guitar is doing so well in this bridge. Mm. If you listen to the guitars, it's like da na 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 na. Man, those that simple work is that accenting that so well. Damn. 
Sometimes when I'm watching these, I forget that I'm supposed to be reacting to it because I too am hypnotized. <laughs> wow. Dude, I love that double bass accent to those singles. One, two, three, one, two, three. Wow. Okay, so one of the things that I love the most about Judas Priest is that their drummer is a real bona fide drummer. He knows how to tell a story and to help lead the song to where it's supposed to go. And to be honest, as a metal percussionist myself and as a metal musician, I feel that this is where the mistranslation and miscommunication between metal and mainstream radio actually falls into place. It's hard for people to follow it unless you have a really extremely good frontman like Rob Halford or you know somebody of that caliber who can help keep people interested because ADHD kicks in like that over and over and over and over again man What? Those accents! One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, wow! Those are so hard to do because if you're not actively thinking that you need to go da 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 if you're not actively thinking that, it's so hard to get absorbed in the song, even if you're the one who's playing the song, it's so easy to get absorbed in the song and to forget to do your fills. So, kudos! Because of Juna, I learned how to do those fills. The four on the bass, like brr, 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 the low and high rolls is what I call them. They sound so good. Mm. Oh my God, what the hell was that? That was a snare. Bop, two tom. To the cymbal. Good God, that was a herta with four different drums and a cymbal. That is so impressive. So why does it sound like she's playing ride cymbal, but I see hi-hat? Oh. Wow. So that's one of the things I love about metal is metal is you take a normal contemporary three and a half minute song and you do everything double. You double the fills, you double the riff length, you double everything and it just makes it beautiful. You double the solo, double the bridges, double everything and then you have it become a full circle. So by the time you're at the end of the song, you know, take Nemophila Love Bites or Bandmade, any of those bands, for example, and they are like perfectionist master songwriters to lead you back from the beginning of the song to the end of the song which is the beginning just mildly transformed to match the hype of that the song has built the entire time juna you nail it So 
so that's another key component is your job as a drummer is to get people to do exactly that. Her arc swing is like a hundred, or it's like, yeah, 110 degrees. That is incredible. Woo! That's what's giving her such a fat snare tone because it's a flam. I love it. I love that guitar work though, like good god, I can't help but comment on it. In the pit, when you hear either a china symbol or that uh, ride bell like that, you know you are about to die. <laughs> So that seemed like that was a combination of the ba -da -ba 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 -da -ba -ba with the rolls. Wow. finale i love it i could have break, i could have spent a minute and a half on each stroke that she did during the end of that role but i will say that it seems that was a combination of a lot of the other roles that's the job of the drummer if you can keep people bobbing their head throughout the entire song So you can think of fills like that as almost like arpeggiations of the same chord. You build up subdivisions within time, and then it becomes the full effect of the speed that you're wanting to, whether it's over 200 BPM or whatever. And you end on the low note. I like how it was snare and then into the bass, into the china. That is a very strong way to end that because those bass notes are very long, flowy notes. And that's going to stick with you for a long time. That song is a true test of stamina right there. You guys are awesome for suggesting this one. My bad that it took so long. I had some real life stuff come up with the house fire and making sure that we're up to city code ordinance and not going to lose my house and all that kind of stuff. But I appreciate you guys for helping give me a full-time YouTube career. You guys are the best. And if you haven't yet, please hit that like and subscribe button and share the videos around. You're welcome to clip any of this that you like and repost anything that you like as long as you tag the channel. You guys are awesome. And while you're at it, Go check out the Patreon. Links for that are down in the description. If you like what I do and want to help support, that is the best way to do it. And I will see you guys next time. The next React that you guys are going to want to check out is up here. I'll see you guys later. Peace.